Hello everyone. From 1558 to 1829, it was considered illegal for Catholics in England to practice their faith publicly or privately. But Catholics in England still wanted to teach their children the catechism of their faith. And so the song The Twelve Days of Christmas was written for that purpose. Since the song sounded like nonsense, a Catholic child could sing it and still be true to their faith. And I could go on and explain what all the gifts supposedly represent. I said supposedly in that sentence because the story is false. First, if you think about it, a Christmas song it's meant it's meant to teach children to faith at a time when you could be persecuted for practicing your faith this doesn't make sense second all of the things that the gifts are supposed to represent are things that are shared by all by all denominations of Christianity so where did the false story come from? Most likely, people are confusing the Twelve Days of Christmas with a song called A New Dial, which is sometimes referred to also known as In Those Twelve Days, which does assign a religious meaning to each of the Twelve Days of Christmas. So where did the song originate? Well, we're not sure. But one theory says it originated as a popular memory and forfeits game, a way of testing children's memory. One person would recite the verse, which the others would repeat, and the next person went out of verse of their own, and so on and so on, until one of the players made a mistake. You don't just need a good story, you need evidence for that story. Bye.